guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get this look which is inspired by taylor swift's new album folklore so if you want to know how i got this look then keep watching so the two things that you will need to do your hair and ignore how mine looks right now but you will need you will need two of these little hair ties they're the little rubber bands and then you will need bobby pins now you can use however bob however many bobby pins you need so the first thing that we're gonna do is part our hair in the middle and mine's already kind of parted in the middle um this does not have to be super even you can use a comb or a brush to help part your hair because you want it down back in the middle kind of like if you were doing french braids or you know pigtails or something so what i'm going to do first is take my hair like i said as if i was doing pigtails and then i'm going to take this rubber band and i'm going to put my hair in little messy buns as if i was putting it in a bun with a regular hair tie so just like this then i'm going to do the same on the other side This is how they look and then I'm just going to put a few bobby pins in to just make them a little more sturdy. Okay, so just like that and they're not even, I think that's fine. They can be a little messy and uneven and I think it adds to the look. I'm also no expert at doing hair, but this is just the way that I found it easier to do. I do think this one came out a little better, um, but also my hair is naturally curly, so I think that kind of helps with the messiness of it. So if you'd like, you can curl your hair if your hair is not already curly. I know in, you know, with Taylor's hairstyle, her hair is curly in it, a little bit more like wavy. So if you want, before you do this, you can curl your hair a little bit and that'll add to the look so now we are going to move on to the makeup portion first i am going to do my eyes i will be using the naked palette i feel like it has a lot of nice earthy tones and that's the kind of look we're going for with this album so first i'm going in with naked and i'm going to use that as a base for my eyes and i'm just using the brush that comes with the palette <music> So next I'm going in with Buck and I'm going to put that all over my lid. So I am no expert here. I'm not that great at makeup. This is literally me winging it and I do this kind of neutral color eye a lot. Realizing I want to do a little bit more of a highlight under my eyebrow. So I'm going to go with Virgin and I'm just going to use that to highlight. <laughs> some more of buck on my eyelid and i'm doing this a little messy which is fine because we're gonna blend it next before i add because i do want to add some glitter before i do that i'm going to take my deluxe crease brush from real techniques and i'm gonna go in and i'm just gonna like buff around in my crease <laughs> next i'm actually because like i said we're winging this so i think i'm gonna go in with a little bit of smog and i'm gonna put just a little bit of that in the outer crease now we're gonna blend that I do want to add some glitter on so i'm gonna go in with with half baked and i'm gonna put that all over my lid to add a little bit of some shimmer so now i'm gonna go in with a pencil and just line my top lash line i am not good at wings i think this will look better with a wing but i'm not good at it i'm still learning so we're just gonna use this handy dandy pencil liner Too Faced 
better than sex mascara. Okay, so my eyes are complete. So now let's do the face and I'm just gonna do my usual face. I'm gonna do my usual face routine. Foundation I use is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I really like it and I use that with a Real Techniques beauty sponge. Maybelline Instant Rewind Eraser under my eyes. So now I'm going to do some contour and highlight and I'm just going to use this NYX Wonder Stick. I really like it. It's really easy. Now I'm gonna go in with my setting powder. So I use MAC Studio Fix and I just use this Real Techniques brush. This is the powder brush. And I'm gonna go in with my Tarte brush in Party with my Real Techniques blush brush. Now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with my number seven Beautiful Brows. The last thing we're going to do is lipstick and I thought that this color from Bare Minerals would be good. It's in the color Honesty and I believe this one was from like my Sephora birthday gift or something but I thought it was really cute and very neutral. <laughs> So I just wanted it light, so I was blotting it on my hand because um, I don't have any tissues but I didn't want it like that dark because I wanted it very like muted, like I said, natural. But yeah, it's just like a little tint of color. So this is the final look. Very folklore. <laughs> you guys enjoyed it like i said i am no expert in hair or makeup this is just me wanting to try out a look inspired by folklore yeah this is what it looks like so that's about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed give it a big thumbs up if you think i did a good job so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one Bye.